This way? Okay. I'm Liz Emery. I'm the founder of Liz and Et. I um, have a startup in, at the intersection of elder care and fashion. And my background is in public health and medicine, but now I help loved ones maintain dignity at the later stages of life. This is Ethel. She's our modern senior. She's 82. She lives independently in her own home, still runs her own business. She, um, after years of being a widow, met her boyfriend while dating online. She, uh, it's true, uh, she enjoys shopping, feeling feminine, and is always interested in making a fashion statement. Oops, other way. Can we, can we pause the time? Sorry. <laughs> It's on the Which right. Which way? Oh, you would think it's up and down. Yeah, okay. Right. All right. What's that? Okay. So this is totally not Ethel style. This is something that should totally be on the fashion police. Let's call Joan Rivers. But um, basically, everything's uh, very old fashioned, totally outdated. Everything's in pastel colors. It's kind of shapeless, unflattering. Um, but these pieces are actually really good. Um, they're adaptive clothing, meaning they go on from the front and they um, close in the back with either Velcro or snap closures. So they're good for caregivers who are dressing women with limited mobility. Um, just to show you a sample of something that's sold by adaptive companies, this is um, something that someone would wear. Would you like to model for me, Simon? Men and women both wear this. <laughs> it's a lovely number. Can we please get a photo? I like this on Twitter. Um, you can see it's short. It's this awful washed out plaid. Um, it's an adult bib, so in its sense, it's totally demeaning. It's short, and if Stephen were to sit and eat his food and spill over himself, it would end up all over his lap, um, meaning we'd have to change his clothes. Um, and Ethel wouldn't want to be caught like in any of these pieces. Um, but what if she has a fall? Like, what if she? Ha oh, three minutes, oh my god. What if she has an accident? What if she has to have like a hip replacement surgery? What if she ends up bedridden and unable to care for herself? So inspired by Ethel and all the women that want the best of both worlds, who want the fashion but need the function, I established Liz and At like a year ago and launched my um, e-commerce site in April of this year. I designed specialized, oh, I keep going the wrong way. Sorry, wait, can you fix it? apparel and accessories for the stylish patient. Everything's designed to ease the caregiver burden. It all goes on from the front and closes in the back. It's comfortable for the patient and it's really designed with the modern senior in mind. Everything is made here in New York in part of the uh, Save the Garment Center movement. And let's see. So really in my book, bibs are for babies. And Stephen, I don't think this is going to fit you, but um, would you like to hold it up for me? Um, so this is my first product. It's called the Smock Frock. It's the chic alternative to the adult bib. It goes on like a smock, but it looks like a little dress. It's fully waterproof. Um, nice. I am working on a men's design, so maybe at the next aging meeting. It is one size right now. <laughs> but can you show maybe the magnetic snapback closure? <laughs> that would be fantastic. Um, thank you, thank you. <laughs> So really, there's a huge need for um, adaptive apparel. There are 40 million adults um, over the age of 65 at this point, and 29% um, of them need assistance with a basic daily task, um, anything from bathing to dressing to eating to moving um, in and out of bed um, to using the toilet. And of those with um, one or more daily limitation, 50% uh, need help dressing. And with boomers already turning 65, the need for elder care fashion is totally going to explode. Um, there's, oh my god, <laughs> ah, I messed it up, wait, wait, pause, pause, can you fix that please? Oh my god, okay, so there's totally this emerging niche market, um, and there are other brands, some here that are represented tonight, can we go to the slide five, um, who are fusing modern design with elder care products, uh, there we go, okay. And um, my goal for Liz and At is to really transform the adaptive clothing industry in the same way that fashion conscious moms revolutionized um, maternity apparel. Back in the day, this like wasn't a category at all, and now it's a $4 billion industry. And that's not even the end of the life cycle that's booming. So um, to take Liz and At to the next level, I'm really looking for distribution channels, um, partnerships with long-term care facilities or other products in the high-end eating space. Uh, the 
opportunity to show my product in, li um, in person and then potentially investors, because right now it's, it's just me. Um, so I learned the hard way that life is too short for bibs and moomoos. Um, I was a hands-on caregiver for my grandmothers and um, they ended up wearing these clothes that were totally inconsistent with the way they had lived their um, excuse me, lives previously. My grandma Muriel, we had to put her blouses on backwards. She always wore a button-up blouse, a line skirt. And we ended up dressing her um, with her blouses on backwards in bed. And she kept pulling at the neckline even though she was sedated. And I ended up having to like cut the tag out because I knew it was like totally bothering her. Um, and then um, Ethel. Ethel was my other grandmother, my nanny. Um, her nickname was Et. And um, that's who my company is named for. I know I'm over time. But um, she had to wear that bib that Stephen put on um, at every meal uh, for a year and a half after her stroke. And we ended up cutting her clothes up the back to dress her in bed when we moved her home for hospice. So my, that's it, my designs are totally inspired by their memory. And they're not just fashionable and functional. They're not just easier on the caregiver. They're not just comforting for the patient. But they're really a way to uh, bring dignity to um, the end of life for the ones you love. Thank you.